judge my mesh. So how do I know if my mesh is good enough or not? The first one, as I said, as I said before, for you is the mesh metric. We already uh, we already saw that we talked about that, and it's where you measure uh, how good or not the shape of your element in the mesh uh, is according to the um, uh, original geometric format of the element. And then you can measure uh, just seeing the average and the standard deviation. The second one I wanted to say you here is the mesh convergence. And the mesh convergence stand for checking the results of the analysis. So in this case, we can um, suppose, for example, we're checking the stresses uh, as center of the analysis based on the mesh density. So I, I solve the analysis one time with one mesh. Then uh, in the areas that I have higher stresses, I refine the mesh there. And then I solve again, and I solve again, and then I plot a graphic where I show here uh, the stresses, the result of stresses that I have in the analysis uh, versus the number of nodes. So I increase my mesh density uh, to have a graphic like that. And the mesh convergence is where I have, I converge to a single value. So you can see here, this would be the first iteration, and I get like 100 megapascal here, and then I increase my mesh density, I increase the stresses, the answer to 200, and if you see here, when I um, keep to increase my mesh density, I converge to a, a value close to 250. And then I can understand in here that my mesh is good enough and that I converge in my mesh. And the third one, it's the error plot. Uh, the error plot, it shows the difference between the stress that I have from one element to the other element uh, beside this one. So if you see here, this image here that I plotted here, you're gonna see the red element in here that says that the result of stresses that I have here in this element, it's uh, the most different uh, result that I have from the, the neighbor element in this analysis. So when I have a big difference between one element and another one, that gives me an idea that my, I have to refine my mesh because I cannot have an abrupt change of stresses. If I come to real life and I check the stresses um, across um, a line, for example, across, uh, uh, across um, a distance from my high, my highest stress, I'm gonna ch check that I have a, a linear uh, change of stresses. And when I have an abrupt change of stresses between one element and another one, it says that my element it's not giving me accurate results and I had to refine that. We're going to talk about these two topics on the post-processing and results module, but I want I just wanted to make sure uh, that you understand uh, this concept here and just to make sure also that it's not, not just by judging the average and the standard deviation that we have in the, in the mesh matrix that we're going to have sure that we uh, have a good uh, mesh and we can go ahead with this mesh for, for the analysis. So see you in the next, next module talking about a new topic. See you.